Hello, I'm Pratyush and today I want to talk to you about Friday Night Plan. Friday Night Plan begins with one of the most bullseye effective use of photographs in cinema. The camera pans over a family photo on a wall, a loving, intimate snap on a couch. Two brothers wrestling, the mother and father looking adoringly at each other. The parents are wondering, perhaps, look what chaos we have produced. As the camera slides downwards, sideways to other photographs, we see the two young boys age and the sofas change. But also, we see the father leak out of the photographs. Did he die? Did the parents divorce? It's not clear initially, but his absence is established with a firm, poignant but subtle hand. The last photo is just the mother, played by Juhi Chabla, and her two now teenaged boys. There's the elder one, studious and duty-bound Siddharth, played by Babil Khan and the more notorious, free-spirited younger one, Aditya, played by Amrit Jain. The film is happy dealing in these types, the jock, the princess, the book inhaler. This is because these types make the story neater, even if this neatness comes at the cost of any kind of deeper personality. Besides, anyone who has suffered and sobbed with a sibling knows that these stereotypes, while inaccurate, are not wholly wrong. Siblings do tend to feed off each other's contrasting personalities until they become a living, breathing, opposing adjective. Their posture is almost always a reaction, their personality a tinderbox waiting to explode. Or as one character in this film notes, are you even siblings if you don't feel like killing each other once in a while? Friday Night Plan takes place over the course of one day, one night, during which Siddharth transforms from a benched football player nicknamed Chitty City to becoming one of the most sought-after kids of his school. This happens because he strikes the winning goal in a tense, high-stakes, inter-school football match. Fame, even if it's restricted to the compounds of a school, comes at a cost. Siddharth and Aditya's mother, named in the credits only as Ma, is out of town on a Friday night. They have a car at the disposal. There's a house party hosted by their classmates, Nat and Nitz, played by Medha Rana and Atya Anand. What could go wrong? Written and directed by debutant Vatsal Neelagantan, who draws heavily on his childhood, the film allows Siddharth to become less responsible and Aditya to become more responsible as the obstacles pile up on the side. For example, Sub-Inspector Pingle, played by Ninath Kamath, keeps roving around the story like a patrolling police van. It's here that the film loses that easy, bumbling charm that it had been slowly accumulating. Take Rahul Nair's show, Eternally Confused and Eager for Love, also on Netflix, about the Bandra Boy blues of Ray, a 24-year-old virgin. There, like here, what was warming up to be a sweet coming of age, a personal jostling, becomes larger with heavy situations thrown on the delicate body of the story's frame. This film, then, is bound to crumple. The gorgeous radicalism of a coming of age is a conviction that there is enough drama within you that there is no need to bring the world in to furnish conflict. What Friday Night Plan lacks is that conviction, almost as though it doesn't trust its characters to coast a film to its end. But if truly the characters do not have that inertia, then maybe they do not deserve a film to themselves. Babil Khan has a piercing gaze, the kind that can pulp you into silence with its cat-like intensity, but his is an acting that's more comfortable with moments of stoicism and ambivalence. Excess of anything, happiness or sadness, or even a confession, does not bode well on his frame, on his face. Amrit Jain, on the other hand, has the sparkling stain of a presence which really allows his character's notoriety to feel both reckless and innocent. As a younger sibling who has tried to hide his recklessness and behind his innocence to get out of sticky situations, I can confirm this is not an easy balance to strike. Ultimately, the film is about the brothers finding a common ground to stand on. And in this pursuit, the film even gives them a party song to sing and dance to. But the tone is lost between wanting to look ecstatic and be meaningful, wanting to have the texture of both realism and melodrama. Here too, the film's indecision weighs it down and you are looking at a film wondering what it would have looked like, felt like, if the people engineering the story along had more conviction in their world, more trust in their characters. Like, share, comment and subscribe to reviews and more and let me know in the comments what you thought of Friday Night Plan.